Given that 2 log x square plus log square root x is equal to k log x, find the value of k. So, first I want you to know that 2 log x is the same as log x square. This square is to power 2, this 2 here. This is 2 raised to power 2 plus... Uh, Square root x is the same as x is to power half. Nikama kusema 25 square root. Square root of 25 is the same as 25 raised to power half. So I hope on a driver. So this one is going to be log x raised to power half is equal to log x raised to power k. So the log here is the same, so we log, 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 so we can use one log into x raised to power 4, 2 times 2, plus means multiplication, so we multiply, multiply by x raised to power a half is equal to log xk. So log and log goes, now we have x raised to power 4 times x raised to power half is equal to x raised to power k. So from indices, we know the basis, when the bases are the same, we ignore them and then we deal with the, the powers. So the, we ignore the, x, the x's, which are the bases are the same, we deal with the power. This multiplication it means 4 plus a half is equal to k. So 4.5, a half is the same as 0.5 is equal to k. So k equal to 4 and a half or 4.5. A variable b varies directly as t cube and inversely as the square root of s. When t is equal to 2, and the s is equal to 9, p is equal to 16. Determine the equation connecting p, t, and the s. Hence, find the find p when s is equal to 36 and t is equal to that for max. So, p varies directly as t cube and inverse. Inverse we divide by inverse at the square root to so the square root of s so this is what it means this information in a manager if p varies inversely uh, directly as t cube and inversely as s the square root of s so this is p is equal to we introduce a constant k t cube over square root of, of s So now we want to find the value of k when p is 16. So p is 16, k we don't know, t is 9, no, no, t is 2. So we have 2 cube divided by square root of s, square root of s that is 9. So we will have 16 equal to, this is 8k divided by the square root of 9 is 3. So we are going to have 16 times 3 is equal to 8k divided by 8 divided by 8. So k equal to 6 because ina kufa mara moja hapa inaisha mara moja ina kufa mara 2 ina kanzo mara 2 hapa. So k is equal to 6. So now the equation connecting this one is going to be P is equal to 
6 ambayo ni k t cube divided by the square root of s. This is the equation connecting p, t, and s. Find p when it's so we want now to find p when s is 36, t is this one. So k, we have k, p, k, t cube divided by square root of s. Now we substitute k, we have 6 times t, here is 3 cube divided by square root of 36, which is 6. Square root of 36 is 6. So 6 and 6 goes, so it means p will be 27. 3 cube is 27. Asia invested some money in a financial institution. The financial institution offered 6% per annum compound interest in the first year and 7% per annum in the second year. At the end of the second year, Asia had Kenya shillings 17,170,130 in the financial institution. Determine the amount of money Asia invested. So we want the principal which invested. But we know amount is equal to principal R plus 1 plus R over 100 raised to power N, where N is time. So the principal we don't know for the first year. We don't know the principal, but we know this plus R, the first year is 6 over 100 times 1 because the first year that's 1. So we will have, this is uh, 1.06P. So this is the amount for the first year. So, so. Now this one is going to be the principal for the second year. So the second year, this one is going to be the principal. So we know amount is equal for the second year, we repeat the principal, which is 1.06P into 1 plus R, but our R is 7 over 100 is to power 1. So we are going, but now for the second year, we have the amount which is 170,000. One, one, one so already we have that, which is now 17, 0, 130, will be equal to 1.06 P into 1.07, 1.07. So 17, 130 is equal to, we multiply this times this. Even, in fact, there is no need of, okay, you can multiply. So 1.06 times 1.07 will give us 1.1342 P. We want the value of P, we divide by both sides by 1.342, divided by 1.1342. So P is equal to 150,000 Kenya shillings. That was the principle. He started with <clears throat> that is the money he invested. The figure below represents a wage. This e, e F is ten, F P E is forty five, and the angle the angle between A F A B F E and this one. So A B A B C F this plane here and A, B, C, D and this one which is down here is this so that is the angle between uh, that is the angle between that is this is the angle 20 degrees because above this is the plane that forms an angle with the this plane here so the angle 20 is here Another thing now you need to first get is to get the PF. Tumepewa kutoka hapa EF ni 10. Na kama ni 10, tumepewa hapa ni 45. So, tunajua a triangle 
a rectangle or a square forms 90 degrees at this point. So it means that this angle here is also 45. And if this angle is 45, it means this and this one they are equal. Therefore, PF is equal to 10 centimeters. PF is equal to 10 centimeters. Uh, so we now we have PF, we want to get the length PC. We will extract this right angle triangle here. We have 10, 20, B, C, F. So to get this one is, we can use Sokatoa. So cos theta is equal to adjacent of hypotenuse. So cos 20 is equal to adjacent. Adjacent is PC divided by hypotenuse 10. So to get PC is equal 10 times cos 20. So PC is equal to 9.4 centimeters. Simplify SATs. This is now SATs. So the denominator is root 3. So the conjugate of this one is just root 3. So we are going to multiply with the conjugate of this, which is root 3, on the numerator and the denominator. So now root 54 plus 3, root 3, everything we multiply with the root, this one over this. So multiply this with everything here. He na he to nanda kwana root fifty four times three plus this times this. We are going to have three root nine. Three times three is nine. Senya sekunda niya root. Uh, root 3 times root 3, that one, the answer is 3, divided by 3. Root 3 times root 3 is the same as root 9. Yes. Now, this one is the same as root 162 plus 3 root 9 over 3. Root 162 can be written as root 81 times 2 plus 3 root, but 9, root 3 is, root 9 is just 3, so it is 3 times 3. This one is going to be 9 actually. Then divide by 3. Now the square root of 81 is 9, so we will have 9 back in the 2 plus 9 over 3. So, so 3 can cancel with this one because it can go there. 3 can go here once, here 3. So we will have 3 root 2 plus 9. That's the final answer. In the figure, in the figure below, AB, AB is a tangent to the circle center O and radius 6. The arc AC subtends an angle of 60 degrees at the center of the circle. Calculate the area of the shaded region correct to one decimal place. We want to calculate the, 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 the area of the shaded region. Kwanza kitu nafaa kujua a tangent to the circle it forms 90 degrees. So already we know that this one is for 90 degrees. This one is actually 30 because this one is 60. No. Mm, 90. Yes, that is okay. So, what we want is to calculate the length AB so that we can use the area, the, uh, the formula of, of the area. I have base times height. 
So to do that, we are going to use Sokatoa. We are going to use Sokatoa again. Now we know that tan is opposite of adjacent. So if I say tan 60, tan 60, tan 60, so if my finger is here, the opposite is this one, adjacent is this one. So tan 60 is equal to opposite, which is A, B, this length here, the height of this triangle divided by adjacent which is 6. So AB is equal to 6 tan 60 and that one is 10.4 centimeters. Correct to one decimal place. Now that we have, we can now calculate the area of this, the whole triangle, this triangle here, which is a half times base 6 times height which is 10.4 and this one will give us 31.2 centimeters square. The next thing now we calculate is the area of this sector. Area of sector OAC. OAC. Area of a sector we know it is theta over 360 by r square so theta is 60 times 360 or divided by 36 times pi 22 over 7 times radius which is 6 square this one is going to give us for the area of 18.9 centimeters square now to get the area of the shaded region in the area here minus the area of the sector which is now that 1.2 centimeter square minus 18.9. This one will give us 12.3 centimeters square. This is the area of the shaded region. Use completing the square method to solve this. Ah, uh, so that is 3x square plus 8x we can take this one to the other side is equal to 6 is equal to 6 in and up and here again kwanza to get out to whenever we are using completing the square method you must ensure the coefficient of x square is 1 so we divide by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 so we will have x square plus 8 over 3x is equal to 6 over 3 Tukisha fika hapo, unakumbuka kwamba B over 2 is to power 2. That relationship, this one, is what we use here. So our B is this one. We need to have B divided by 2 and then square. So 8 over 3 divided by 2. Itakuwa ngapi? Itakuwa 8 over 3 times 1 over 2. Four. So we are going to have x square plus 8 over 3x. We add now b over 2 square, which is now 4 over 3, 4 over 3 square. Right? Which is equal to 6 over 2 plus the same, 4 over 3 square now we are going to pick one x here that is now x plus 4 over 3 now square is equal to uh, 6 over 3 is actually 2 plus 6 over 3 the answer is 2 plus the square of this which is 16 over 9 x plus 4 over 3 square is equal to 34 over 9. When you add this one, it's going to be 34 over 9. So we want to get now the value of x. I want to remove the power here, the square. I will do that by square rooting both sides. 
So x plus 4 over 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 34 over 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. So x is equal to e 9 equal plus or minus 4 over 3 plus or minus the square root of 34 divided by 3. So x is equal to negative 4 over 3. In fact, 3 is equal to uh, plus or minus 34 square root is 5.83. So the value of x now is equal to negative 3.28 or x is equal to 0 0.610. If you don't understand very well how to use the completing square method, nitaweka link ya kwanza kwa the description ya hii video, link ya kwanza. Itakupereka kwa video ambayo nimefanya completing the square slowly by slowly. So itakupereka hapo wangali. So I will include the link for the video that I have done for the completing the square. So nitaweka link hapo, we uende uyone. Three workers working eight hours per day can complete a task in five days. Each worker is paid Kenya shillings, 40 per hour. Calculate the cost of hiring five workers if they work for six hours per day. Per day to complete the same task, to complete the same task. So katika hili suwa likitu atuna, atuna days for these five workers when you walifanya kazi six hours, atuna how many days they, they took. So we want to get first how many days they took. So three, so we have workers, hours, and then days. So three workers took eight hours, five days. How long will it cost five workers? working six hours and we don't know how many days they will take so let us first get the number of days then we go to the cost later so the number of workers has increased wafanyikazi wakikiwa wengi watachukua siku nyingi ama siku kidogo wafanyikazi wakiwa wengi wame increase what will happen with the days the days will increase or decrease the days will decrease kwa sababu wafanyikazi ni wengi kwa hivyo siku zitakuwa kidogo kwa hivyo tunataka kuweka hii ratio hii eh, in such a way that we reduce this number of days so we will divide by by the big denominator so it is it is going to be 3 over 5 kwa sababu tunataka ku reduce hii number times tunakuja kwa hours hours it may decrease from from 8 to 6. Kama walikuwa nafanya 8 hours, wanafanya 5 days. Do you expect wakifanya 6 hours, days itakuwa mingi ama itakuwa kidogo? Definitely, days itakuwa mingi kwa sababu hours ya kufanya kasi imefanya nini? Ime reduce. So that means, we are going to ensure that tunaweka denominator inakuwa kidogo. So the denominator ni itakuwa 8 over 6. And then times now, this one is a constant. So this one will give us four days. So these people, they took four days. Mutu moja hivi, analipo 40 per hour. They are working for six hours. Mutu moja. How many people are they? They were five. So we will have five people. So one each is paid 40 bob per hour. They are working for how many hours? Six so, and that is per day, so they are working four days times four. Five people in one hour nalipwa 40 bob. Lakini alifanya kasi six hours. Na walifanya for four days. So, ukifanya yoyotu napata pesa yote, wanyo walilipwa ni Kenya shilling, 4,800. 
So we are supposed to draw a, gra a line here of the paste feet. So we may plot this number, this letter is a x, y, we may plot a graph. We may a graph and we will see it again. Sasa nimepata hizi points kuna hii na hii na hii na hizi mpaka hapa. Tuliambiwa draw a line of pest feet. Pest feet inamaanisha unaweka rura unahakikisha inachukua ile yenye mahali hiyo line itachukua points nyingi. Hiyo ndio inaitwa the line of the pest feet. So angalia sasa nikichukua kwa mfano hii ya kwanza. Hii ya kwanza nichukue na hii hizo ni mbili peke yake kwa hivyo iweze kuwa line of best fit haya nikichukua ya kwanza na zile 1 2 itaingia na hizo tatu. sawa 1 2 3 haya nikichukua hii na hii hii aingiani hii na hii na hii itaingiana hiyo so the best one we are going to take this 3 because hata hii ni tatu. So take this one as the best line of fit. Then you draw that line. You extend that line. And you make sure line of best fit nire na chukua zero points nyingi za nye ulipewa. Yanyi na chukua points nyingi. So, hii ime chukua hapa. And then one, two, three, four. Ni putu wane hili nge chukua ngapi hii. So let us extend this line. So that is the line of best fit. Unachukua hile na chukua lines minki. Use your graph to find the value of y when x is 0. So when x is 0, when x is 0, x is 0 at this point. Remember here x is 0, this is the x axis. So what would it be y? y would it be 1. So when x is equal, when, when, x, when y, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. the amplitude amplitude and the phase angle of the curve y is equal to 2 sin into 3 over 2x minus 30 so so if this one is our equation y is equal to k sin bx plus theta or y equal to k cos cos bx minus theta. So tunataka kujua kwa hii equation generally unafaa kujua k the coefficient of sin, the coefficient of cos or the coefficient of tan. Those are that is what we call the amplitude. So amplitude here amplitude is equal to k. Ile namba ambayo yuko kwa sin in a good before sign, I'm a tan or what in the night. And then face angle, face angle, face angle is equal to this theta, equal to theta. At a come, I negative theta, negative angle, you just take the positive side. And then finally, the period, period is equal to. 360 divided by the coefficient of x the coefficient of x the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is b divided by b so here now our amplitude is equal to to our face angle is equal to 30 degrees. The mass of in kilograms of nine sheep is this. 
determine the quantile deviation of the data the quantile deviation so first for us to get the quote the upper quantile and the lower quantile we need to arrange this data in ascending order so once to me to me uh, to me arrange the data in ascending order first count get the median one two three four one two three four so from here up to here from here up to here to keep but after median here upper a half this is the upper a half i'm at the second a half this is the first a half so so when we get the median what is the median here that one will give us the lower uh, quartile when we get the median of the half, the second a half the median cut the easy to napata the upper quartile so here kwa sababu naona ya katikati ni ngapi ni mbili singekuwa tatu peke yake hivi tungesema ni singekuwa 8 11 na 13 peke the median ingekuwa 11 lakini sasa median ni siku mbili so tunafanya average that is 11 plus 13 divided by 2 hapa the median itakuwa 17 plus 19 divided by 2 so hiyo ndio natupea the median of the upper so the q1 is equal to the lower quantile is 12 the q2 the upper is it true let me call it the q2 the upper quantile let me call it um, q2 itakuwa 18 so but now I could the formula kwamba quartile division quartile deviation deviation is equal to q2 upper quartile minus q1 divided by 2 it is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile divided by 2 which is equal to 18 minus 2 12 divided by 2 the answer is 6 over which is three. Uh, position of two points C and D on the other surface are this. Respect to the distance between the two is this. Determine the latitude on which C and D lie. Uh, first, let us sketch this. So these points are on uh, so n north zero degrees uh, uh, okay theta degrees not zero theta degrees north and then this one is ten east this one is thirty east so c is here d is here remember this is the equator and this is the green which meridian so these are the points so it means this one is on the small circle so it is on the small circle so let us get now the angle difference the angle difference Because it go east to east, we, we subtract. That is 30 minus 10. That, uh, minus 10, that could be 20 degrees. So the angle difference is 20. I can do a These two points they are on a small circle. Now to make a distance in it, commas. So if you want a small circle, to draw the formula of getting the distance on a small circle. The distance is given by newt commas. So distance. Is given by theta uh, or alpha. Alpha is the angle difference when you are using the, this one. Alpha times 60 cos theta. 
Uh, now, this one is the angle difference 20 times 60, which will give us 600 nautical miles times cos theta. We are looking for this theta, the latitude uh, angle. 600 is equal to 1200 cos theta. So divide by 1200, 1200. So cos theta is equal to 0 0.5. So cos 0 0.5 is equal to 60 degrees. Inverse cos inverse 0 0.5, which is equal to theta, is equal to 60 degrees. So the question is determine the latitude on C and D light, the latitude. So the latitude is 60 degrees north. If you have a problem on latitudes and longitude, I will include the link in the description that contains this topic. In a certain farm, there are six men and four women, employee, employees. Two employees are chosen at random to attend a seminar. Determine the probability that a man and a woman are chosen. So we have a man and a woman. Two employees are chosen. So we must have two of them chosen like this. So they have six men. So six over ten because the total is ten. And women are four over ten. So if a man is chosen, they will reduce by one. So we will have five over nine. If a man is chosen... This is a mutually exclusive event. It means that if a man is chosen, a woman will not be chosen at the same time. So a woman will remain to be 4 over 9. If a woman is chosen, they will remain 3 over 9. At the same time, no man will be chosen. Therefore, we will remain with 6 over 9 men. So man, 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 woman, woman, man woman woman you are asking to calculate the probability that the, that a man and a woman is chosen so it is a man woman woman man not man man not this one these are the two right so probability a man or probability a man and a woman and a man are chosen so this is six times four so six over ten times 4 over 9 or we add 4 over 10 times 6 over 9 and this one will give us 8 over 15 using your calculator 8 over 15 and a transformation t a triangle OAB is mapped onto triangle this image with vertices this, this and that. Find the area of triangle OAB, the area. Remember when we were talking about matrix, area of the image, area of the object is exactly equal to the area of the image divided by the determinant of the transformation matrix. So let the transformation matrix is this. Let us get the determinant of the transformation matrix. So the determinant of T, the transformation will be the, the, the 4 times 3 minus into 2 times negative 3. So this one will give us 12 plus 6. So it acquire 18. Determinant here to 18. So area of an object, these are some of the formulas you must know. O, A, B is equal to area of the image, area of the image divided by the determinant of the transformation matrix. So now we have the area of the image. How do you get the area? Because to kona x axis 18 or to kona y axis 
6. So, so this is the height, 6 is the height, and the x-axis is the base. So if you try to draw this, assuming that a, that a triangle was a right angle triangle, you would have something like this. In 0, now in the x-axis, 18. In y, which is 6. So, so the coordinate now is 18, 6. So this is x and this is y. So we are going to have, and this is the height, this is the base. So it is a half times 18 times 6. That one gives us the area of the image divided by the determinant, which is 18. So it will be 3 units. 3 units. So this one and this one goes. A half of 6 is 3. Find the value k if this, uh, this, so we want to integrate that. We are integrating from the limit is 0 to 2. So k x cubed minus 3x square. We are integrating limit 2 to 0 and the answer is supposed to be 16. So do you know how to integrate? So k will be equal to x. When we integrate, we add 1 to the power, which is going to be 4. And then we divide by that power, which is 4. That is integration now, minus. We have 3. And then the x value is x raised to power 2. We add 1, which is now 3, divided by 3. 2, 0, equal to 16. Now our value of x is 2. We substitute whenever we have x, we substitute with 2. So we will have k 2 raised to power 4 over 4 minus 3. At 3, this one will finish, will cancel out. So 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 16. So we will have now. This is 16k over 4 minus 8. The answer is 16. 2 raised to power 4 is 16. Mm -hmm. Now this one can cancel with this 4. So we have 4k minus 8 equal to 16. So this one goes there. So 4k is equal to 24. So divide by 4 by 4. So k is equal to 6.